This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Nicole Brady with the latest from Denver 7. Today, Larimer County Commissioners will vote on a proposal that would build a 70-mile water pipeline from Fort Collins to Thornton. The pipeline would go under Douglas Road, just north of Fort Collins. The county's planning commission denied this route in May, asking commissioners to come up with a better plan. Happening today, Denver City Council looks at whether a 0.25% sales tax increase should be added to the November ballot. The money would go toward local parks. Supporters say Denver is one of the only cities that doesn't already have a parks tax. Opponents question if it's the best use of a tax increase. And make sure your inner tube has enough air in it. For Wednesday, it's the annual Tube to Work Day on Boulder Creek. The unusual commute starts at 8 a.m. Business attire and costumes are encouraged. So let's check in with Lisa now and see how the weather's going to be this week for that. It'll be a good day for it. We're going to be pretty toasty this next few days. Now, mostly sunny this morning, but it is still a little hazy. Some of the smoke filtering in uh, from the wildfires. That's going to continue today and tomorrow. Uh, not not as bad as what we saw last week, but still pretty smoky. Clear skies statewide today. We should be in the mid 80s by about 10 o'clock. It's going to be another warm one early on by 12, 1 o'clock. We're at about 90 degrees and you still have a lot of sunshine statewide at that point. By late afternoon, we could get a few thunderstorms popping up mainly down across parts of southwestern Colorado, but looking at some dry conditions here in town through tonight. So yesterday we had a little bit of rain in spots that helped out. Not so much today. Tomorrow we're going to start off near 70 by 7 o'clock and then it gets even toastier. Some mid to upper 90s for highs tomorrow afternoon. Better chance of picking up some storms though over the western half of the state on Tuesday. So mid upper 90s from Monday through Wednesday. A really hot couple of days. Still pretty toasty Thursday and Friday. But Nicole, we've got a better chance for a few thunderstorms to end the week and that would help to cool things down in the late afternoon. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Nicole Brady.